We are here today, you and I, to speak about the practice of meditation. Now, if you're watching this because you bought the Complete Be A Magnet to Success system, please keep an open mind because the practice of meditation is such a beautiful experience. And if you're someone who has purchased this separately, you're, you are already interested in the practice of meditation. But either way, please keep an open mind because whatever we want in our lives, whether it's complete spiritual oneness or material freedom in the way of having more money, we will not be fulfilled in our life. I mean completely happy until we allow this splendor, this light within us that is the true us to explode out of us into the world. It is beautiful. We are made of this light. It is absolutely amazing. So if you're someone who's brand new to this, we're going to go through the very basics of meditation practice. And for those of you who have been practicing meditation, it may just be a reminder for you to get back into that practice because it's such a privilege and it's such a beautiful part of existence when we get to be one with eternity. Because when we meditate, the reason we call it practicing meditation is because until we are one with eternity that is breathing all of the time, breathing life into this world, into all the worlds, well, we are just practicing. Once we become one with it, and the whole idea of practicing meditation is so that we eventually, just by sitting still and taking a deep breath, we can relax into that which is already meditating all of the time. You see, the mind is a crazy thing sometimes. You can imagine what anyone's computer hard drive has in it. It has so much information, most computers stored in it, from emails, from stuff you've done, from things you've downloaded. So can you imagine what your own mind is like? The subconscious mind has so much information stored in it, and not just from your own input, but from the whole world's input from every television show you've ever, ever watched, from every teacher, from everyone you meet, whether it's at the post office, the bank, every relationship, every hurt, every sorrow, every joy is filed away into this subconscious mind. So when we begin practicing meditation, it's very, very challenging because any thought that we think, even if it's a thought just to get us into a still place, the mind immediately, just like a computer, goes searching into the files to find something in it that it can relate to. And then it'll bring up thoughts, feelings, thoughts come first, then the feelings that are associated with that thought, which was an experience that you had, whether it was watching a movie, you know, you may think love, and then someone might think, you know, it'll bring up relationships. Maybe it was a hurtful relationship with your father. Maybe it was with a boyfriend or a girlfriend or someone who left you. You know, all of these things come up. And that is why it is extremely challenging for most people to practice meditation when they first begin because they think it's going to be too hard because of the thinking that keeps going on. So what we're going to be speaking about is how to do it in an easy way so that you will continue it. Because if you continue it with patience and love, it will be the most important part of your day, of your evening, is the practice of meditation. It will be the time when you know that you are building up a bank of empowerment and a bank of love, of pure light, of pure consciousness. Because when we connect, and when we go beyond the third and the fourth dimensions into our true self, you know, people call it self-realization, being liberated, being enlightened. Whatever the goal is with meditation, I suggest you don't have a goal at all in meditation except to connect with that love that is bubbling inside of you, that wants to flow forth into expression. But what is very, very important when you practice 
meditation is you do not come to it like you do with visualization practices with any thoughts of visualizing anything or for any outcome except for peace of mind and for love and love is gratitude because if you don't have a sense of gratitude gratitude for something for someone you're spiritually dead you have to begin with a gratitude before you get into meditation for something for someone because that feeling of gratitude is love and that love is pure consciousness and that pure consciousness is who you are you are pure consciousness so this computer that we call the subconscious mind will try to be a tricky little bugger with you and it'll get you into the past or it'll get you to project into the future about what ifs you know what was or what if we have to be here now in the practice of meditation so the most important thing to begin with the practice of meditation is that you come to it with a feeling of gratitude so it's best first of all for the body to be sitting straight with the spine straight people lie down in meditation and the challenge with that is that you could fall asleep and meditation isn't about relaxation even though later you will feel stress free stress free you will actually feel more energized so it's important that you, you know you can sit in a chair like I am now it doesn't have to be sitting in a lotus position if that's uncomfortable for you of course that's lovely if you can it's a really great way of doing it to sit in meditation and have a mat in a nice clean area so choose a chair that's going to be your meditation chair or choose a mat in an area where you just sit to meditate now I have learned this from experience if you meditate too much in on your bed even if you're sitting up straight after a while even though you don't realize it it becomes empowered because every time you sit down at a certain place that's your certain room your chair or your place to meditate your mat it becomes empowered and so you get a lot of energy from it so it can disrupt your sleep because it's got all this power in it so I don't recommend that you meditate on your bed because that spot where you meditate becomes empowered but after a while you will realize that wherever you are you can meditate freely it's just that to start with it's really really great to have that one place where you know you're going to meditate okay so you're going to have your spine straight this is really important so that you focus and so that all of the kundalini energy can rise up through your chakras and we'll talk about chakras in a minute but this is important for you to be straight have your legs unfolded your arms out you can either have your arms whoops let's get that fixed you know just sitting there I don't recommend you have them touching the chair just sitting lightly on your legs will be fine or you can you know sit in a mantra like this mantra position but you don't have to be using a mantra but anyway just to sit there and be relaxed but focused and what you're going to do first of all is it's really important that you come to your meditation with a feeling of gratitude I cannot tell you how important this is it is so important so start feeling just the word gratitude and if you're not feeling it bubbling up within you think of someone that you love or something that you're grateful for there's got to be something or someone in your life that you're grateful for or grateful to it could be the fact that you've got a roof over your head that you've got a healthy body or that you have someone who loves you and cares for you or it could simply be that you have an opportunity to be here right now in this moment 